as time went on, people began to notice that Frodo also showed signs of good preservation. Frodo himself found that being the Mr. Baggins of Bag End was rather pleasant. For some years he was quite happy and did not worry much about the future. But half unknown to himself, the regret that he had not gone with Bilbo was steadily growing. He looked at maps and wondered what lay beyond their edges. Mary and his friends watched him anxiously. Often he was seen walking and talking with the strange wayfarers that began at this time to appear in the Shire. News? Do you have any news of the outside world? Ah, news, you say? Bad news. Uh, it's the enemy, you see. Uh, yes, the enemy. Mordor in the land of Mordor too now. Oh. Mordor, the evil power of Mirkwood, has been driven out oh. by the White Council, well and good. But that was years and years ago. Oh. It has reappeared in the old strongholds of Mordor. The Dark Tower has been rebuilt. No. The Dark Tower? Yes, from there the power has spread far and wide. Yes. Far east and south there are wars and people are frightened. Orcs, too, are multiplying. And trolls. And some nameless things more terrible than all these. It was just about this time of year that Gandalf reappeared after his long absence. The ring you say is dangerous? In what way? It's far more powerful than ever I dared to think at first. So powerful that in the end it would utterly overcome anyone of mortal race who possessed it. It would possess him. You see, in Eregion, long ago, many elven rings were made, magic rings, as you call them, and they were, of course, of various kinds. But the great rings, the rings of power, they were perilous. A mortal Frodo who keeps one of the great rings does not die. But he doesn't grow old or obtain more life. He merely uh, continues until at the last... Every minute is a weariness, and if he often uses the ring to make himself invisible, he fades. He becomes, in the end, invisible permanently, and walks in the twilight under the eye of the dark power that rules the ring. How long have you known this? Known? I've known much that only the wise know, Frodo, but... If you mean known about this ring, well, I still don't know, one might say. There is a, a last test to make. Uh, give me the ring for a moment. Well, all right. There, there, there. Now, uh, can you see any markings on it? No, there are none. It's quite plain, and it never shows a sign of scratch or wear. Well, then, look. No, no, not in the fire, no. Give me the tongs. Get it out. Out. Wait, wait, wait. Draw the curtains. Close the shutters. Who's out there? Only Sam doing the garden. Hmm. Huh. Now, now, take it out of the fire with the tongs. Yet, go on, take it, take it. It's quite cool. <gasps> There, there, you see? Now hold it up and look closely. There are fiery letters running along the ring, inside and outside. They're so bright. And yet, as if from far away, I, I can't read them. Yes, yes, the letters are Elvis. But the language is that of Mordor, which I won't utter here. Close enough, it says... One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. This, Frodo, 
is the Master Ring. The one ring to rule them all. This is the one ring that he lost many ages ago to the weakening of his power. The Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor greatly desires it, but he must not get it. <laughs>